Hi everyone, I'm Frank Fu. Welcome back. Today I want to give you an update on what we've been building in AvTalk, especially around uh, how we handle GPU scheduling when there are lots of users online at the same time. In our last video, we talked about how we improved uh, audio video sync and reduced latency. Now to handle even more users smoothly, we've redesigned our GPU management system to make sure things stay fast and stable. Let's start with a typical user connection. When someone opens the digital human page, our system checks whether ROM pod is turned on. If it's not, we simply look in our local GPU pool to find an available one. If we find one, we assign it to the user. If not, the connection fails. It's that simple. If RAM pod is enabled, things get a little more flexible, though we first try to use any uh, local GPUs that aren't linked to RAM pod. If there aren't any free ones, uh, then we look to the cloud and uh, try to use a RAM pod GPU. Next is the connection execution phase. Once a GPU is allocated, the system attempts to establish a connection, usually via WebSocket or other methods. If the connection is successful, everything goes smoothly and the user can start using the digital human service. Uh, however, in the real world scenarios, the connection doesn't always succeed. For example, if all the GPUs that are already running uh, are occupied and the process of creating a, a new GPU hasn't been completed, the system will check again for GPUs with state source 3, meaning pause, and attempt to wake them up. If the wake up is successful, we uh, retry the connection. If not, the system will destroy the GPU and create a new one as a replacement then attempt the connection again. If the creation and the connection still fail, it means uh, both the local GPU resources and the cloud GPU resources on RAM pod are fully occupied. In this case, the user will have to wait for a GPU to be released before trying to connect uh, again. To make all this work with lots of users at the same time, we built a thread pool system. Uh, that means that each user's connection request get its own task running in parallel. So one slow request doesn't block everyone else. If a thread can't find a working GPU, it checks again to see if a new one is ready. Uh, and if not, it starts creating one in the background without holding thing up. Now let's talk about how we scale with the run pod. We have two key settings, one that defines the max number of idle GPUs we want to keep, free running GPU, and one that says how many GPUs we should always have ready, mean running GPU. Every five seconds our system checks the current usage. If we've got too many idle GPUs, we shut some down, especially the cloud ones to save money. If we're running low, we start spinning up new ones right away to stay prepared. Um, we also thought about the rare cases where all GPUs are in use and RAM pod might not be able to spin up new ones fast enough. Uh, for that, we've set up a separate deployment system just for high volume users. Basically, if you're a customer with long running heavy usage, we give you your own private GPU pool. These GPUs don't go through our shared system so your service stays fast and stable no matter what. To wrap it all up, we've built in some smart cleanup and cost saving features. Our system regularly checks how many GPUs we actually need and shuts down the extras. That way, we avoid wasting resources and save money we can put into improving our models, building new features, and keeping everything reliable. So to sum it up, our GPU scheduling system is smart enough to switch between local and cloud GPUs, spin them up or shut them down on demand, and handle lots of users at once through async connections. It tracks GPU health, recovers from issues, and gives big users their own private pool 
when needed. The most important thing is built not just to run, but to stay fast, stable, and real time, even when things get really busy. Thanks for watching. I'm Frank Fu. We'll be back with uh, more updates on NevTalk's tech and product work soon. If you have any questions about how we built this system, feel free to drop a comment. We're always improving, and we'd love to share more behind the scenes with you.